Hey guys, uh, One Tigress actually sent me a package, almost like a care package of items that they wanted me to kind of overview, gear test, and give them feedback on. I'm actually pretty excited about the things they sent me. One thing was actually featured in my last video, if you guys haven't had a chance to see it, uh, I'll have a link in the description. Um, but let me go ahead and go over what's inside this bag here. Uh, I'm not going to really do like an unboxing, I'm just going to pull things out one at a time and show you what's going on with them. Uh, really cool stuff here. So. Uh, first thing to mention is they sent me this uh, balaclava, uh, balaclava, I'm sure you guys in the description know how to pronounce that. Uh, probably one of the most comfortable face masks I've ever worn. Um, it still allows me to wear my headset so I can still get GoPro footage and things like that. It doesn't offer any hard ear protection so if your field requires that, you know, you might need to look into a different option. Uh, for me, I really don't mind that. I might wear Comtex later on in the future so I can have some type of radio communication with me and my squad. Um, but the only thing I do, I do like is I like that it, it protects my nose, protects my teeth, because, you know, dental bills are expensive. Um, and it's comfortable. This is like a breathable mesh material. I don't know exactly the type of material it's made out of. But I have worn it out in the cold. I've worn it out in the hot. And it, 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 it keeps your temperature at a neutral uh, state. I do sweat a lot from like my face, you know, of course you take off your mask and it's all greasy and sweaty, disgusting. This, you don't, you don't really get that. It, it's, it's really comfortable. Um, you have your, you know, your airsoft gun and you go to aim down the sights. You're allowed, you can get a really good cheek weld there because you don't, you don't have like the mesh material or any thick foam. You can really look down the sights and this is just iron sights and I can look down pretty clear without any hesitation or issue. I'm really going to start wearing this. You guys will see it in my videos. I, I really, really like it. I was kind of hesitant at first to, uh, I was really hesitant at first to, to really wear this out in the field um, because, you know, scared to get shot in the face and things like that. I mean, you know, it just gives you, I guess, more of an incentive not to get shot uh, versus, you know, you actually going out there going crazy CKP and, you know, doing crazy stuff. Although that's fun, but this keeps you alive, I guess, you know, more fear of getting hit in the face. And I, I really enjoy it. I'm going to go and take this off and move on to the next item. Uh, the other thing One Tigers gave me uh, is this uh, triple mag pouch. Um, go ahead and I'll just put like a double stack uh, high capital magazine in there. Um, fits it nice and, you know, nice and snug. Will fall out, you know, it's not meant to be mounted upside down, things like that. But it will fit your Glock 17 slash 19 magazines. It will fit your other uh, double stack 1911 magazines. I, I can see myself playing this when I'm doing more indoor games. Uh, I know... Uh, Evike right down the street from me. They're gonna be opening the new, uh, you know, Evike Outpost Battle Labs, uh, you know, uh, arena. I can see myself wearing this because I, I'm gonna run a pistol, either my 1911. This is actually my wife's gun now. She took this over. Or I'm gonna be running my Glock. So either or, this is gonna be crucial. Uh, next thing I do have to review is the. Uh, this is a mag pouch. It's an open top Kydex. Uh, you know clip mag pouch. So this is open top. It doesn't have like your bungee retention strings uh, I don't have one of those where I could show you right now, but this is awesome So this would mount onto your belt like how I have this one mounted here on my belt uh, But these are great these you could actually put magazines in and mount them upside down and they are not coming loose I mean I could slam this on the floor and ugh, The thing is not coming out. I mean it wiggled a little bit, but I was really putting some force in there uh, one thing great about this is that you can actually adjust it. So if you have like a like a longer style magazine, let's say it's like that long, and you don't want it that high, you can adjust the bottom. Or an AK-47 style magazine, all you have to do is take down the Velcro, move the clip down, push the magazine down. It's gonna fill. You see, here's the Kydex style clip. It's gonna fill it, and then Velcro up. And now the Velcro is holding the magazine. So if you have this on your belt, you don't want it that high of a, you know, I mean, you can look at the difference there if it's mounted the same. Sitting way higher, this one's sitting way lower, but still offers the same type of functionality. Okay. All right, last thing I am showing you guys is this, uh, it's, they call it a rock molly chest harness, or like I, I like to call it a micro chest rig. This is great. I don't necessarily like wearing anything on my chest. It's really small, form-fitting, does what you need it to do. You could even mount this upside down. I have a few pictures on my Instagram. If you don't, if you don't have me on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow. Links on my bio page. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can mount it upside down and you can still, you know, have an ease of pulling the magazine out and things like that. I'll go ahead and try this on for you guys so you guys can see. Here's the vest. Oh, I'm going to walk a little forward to get you guys a close up here, but here's the vest so far. In comparison to my, my belt, I still have plenty of free range movement. This might appeal to more of the space off community because I know they use those micro chest rigs and they want to mount things in here. You can go ahead and mount extra magazines on the top with like the little uh, pouch that opens up. There we go. I mean, that's pretty good to me. So you can mount magazines, then maybe have your pistol magazines in there. And so now you have a free range of magazines while you're playing indoors. This is probably the most versatile piece of gear I have in my loadout. You have a breathable mesh material back here. So when you're running around, it allows you to actually, the sweat not to be, you know, dissipates the heat, if you will. Uh, you also have these hooks here, and also these hooks here in the front, that if you're wearing a plate carrier and you have your, your rig set up, you can mount this onto a plate carrier. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount, like I said earlier, these uh, pouches on here so you guys can get a, a feel or a look for how it's supposed to be laid out. This is kind of like an ideal setup of how I'd run it for uh, like an indoor game. Uh, just using an example, my Crytek LVOA. Uh, real quick though, I, I am thinking about getting a PDU upper. Uh, same, you know, combat gray color match. Let me know if you think that's a good idea, if you guys want to see gameplay with that in the future. I'll go ahead and buy it if you want to see the gameplay. Leave me a comment. But for example, if I'm playing indoors with this, I want to be able to grab my magazines pretty quickly, index them like that, or look for my belt, and magazines there. I mean, that was pretty quick, right? Or for example, if I have my handgun out, I need to reload, go ahead and index the magazine. In a firefight, you need to reload your magazine. You're gonna go ahead and index it in the chest, and you're good to go. Why does it do that? No clue what's going on there. I know it's not user error. The magazine release is so sensitive. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All that gear is going to be linked in the description below. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.